Hello, I'm Dina Eisenstark. I'm an assistant professor in the Child and Adolescent Development Department at SJSU. And today I'm excited to talk with you about the benefits of spending time outside. So while being outside has many health benefits for individuals and families, today I'm going to focus on three very important ones. First, spending time outside helps improve your attention. Do you find yourself feeling attentionally fatigued? Our ability to pay attention is limited. Have you ever felt irritable or found it hard to pay attention to what a family member or friend is saying after a long day of work, school, or meetings? You likely were experiencing attentional fatigue. But there's good news. There's growing evidence that exposure to natural environments can help restore directed attention for adults and children. Two researchers, Kaplan and Kaplan, have a theory called the Tension Restoration Theory. This suggests that natural environments are ideal settings for restoration because they contain four unique characteristics. These characteristics include being away or removed from negative thoughts or attention fatiguing activities, extent, meaning the environment is rich enough to transcend your mind, Soft fascination, meaning you can pay attention effortlessly, giving your directed attention the chance to restore itself as your involuntary attention takes over and is compatible for your purpose of being there. And compatibility is very broad as people can connect to nature in many different ways. So spend time outside any way that you enjoy and that works for you. Maybe you have a favorite local park, or you enjoy gardening in your backyard, or spending time at the beach. For me, I love spending time outside with my dog Benji, playing ball, or walking with him and his best friend. The most important thing is for you to find an environment that you enjoy. The cool things about this research is that studies have found that individuals can experience mental restoration in just 20 minutes of being outside. And amazingly, if you can't actually get outdoors, research has shown that just viewing nature outside your window or having plants nearby in your home or office can also provide some of these same restorative benefits. Building on this theory, the second major benefit of being outside is that it can help you get along better with others. As when your attention is restored, you feel less irritable and you can pick up on social cues more easily, all variables that kind of put you in a more positive state of mind to interact with other people. Our research has shown that parent-child interactions are more positive outside, fam as family members displayed greater cohesion and fewer displays of negativity after taking a 20-minute walk outdoors compared to indoors, and families also reported getting along better outdoors because they tend to be in a better mood, had fewer arguments, went away from chores and household responsibilities, and they could really listen and communicate with one another with fewer distractions. The third benefit of spending time outside is that early exposure to nature during childhood may influence environmental concerns and attitudes across the lifespan. Researchers have found that children who regularly participated in wild nature, like camping, hiking, or hunting before age 11, were more likely to have pro-environmental attitudes and behaviors as adults. The researchers, Wells and Leckies, stated that when children become truly engaged with the natural world at a young age, the experience is likely to stay with them in a powerful way, shaping their subsequent environmental path. This Earth Month, we encourage you to spend at least 20 minutes outside with your favorite people, human or animal. Doing so will restore your attention, help you get along better with others, and feel more connected to the natural world. Thank you, and see you outside.